Tonight's episode of the Funny Box is sponsored in part by Butthurt Cream. Instant relief for your belief. Butthurt Cream. Good evening, everyone. We've been waiting for you. It's a work in progress. Oh, gee. Hold the phone. Oh, this is an unscheduled surprise. It's him. Oh, this young host has had a very trying career. And what with the litigation, the notoriety, his subsidiary deportation to Canada, and that country's refusal to accept him, well, I guess that's more than most hosts could handle. The penalty box for Cole Oakman starts right now. <laughs> Good evening, hockey fans, and welcome to another edition of the Penalty Box with your host, Kalal Oakman. It's been a while, I know. It's good to be back. Got a new sponsorship, got picked up for a two-episode trial deal with LeagueGaming.com. Hopefully things work well, that we can get a long-term deal done with Triz. My lawyers and agents are negotiating with LeagueGaming.com admins to see if we can secure a long-term media rights deal. Right now, they've signed us on for two episodes, the same usual whatever bullshit. I'm not going to get it. Anyways, I'm happy to be back. It, it, it's hockey season, and we have new sponsors. Uh, before we get into the show, there's some things that I would like to discuss. Uh, some people have been asking me what happened, where have I been, blah, blah, blah. Let's just be brutally honest, shall we? Uh, the former website that we were on, I shall not name any names, <laughs> run by that asshole named Rob. Ooh, I wasn't supposed to say that. Well, come on! The guy was an asshole. I can say asshole. No, I'm not going to say fuck. No. I fucking did. Well, shut up. I'm on it. Lawyers. They're just... You're fired. Go away. I said you're... <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying before I was really interrupted, go away. On that other website, things were going really shitty, hence the mass exodus. You all know what happened. You're all here. Welcome to LeagueGaming.com. A much beautiful, well-put-together website. A lot better than that other piece of shit we were working on with that freaking Crayola Crayon Marker website with stats program that looked like it was written by a person that got a C plus and C++. So, I took a hiatus. Things in my personal life changed, got married. And uh, did a lot of cool stuff with the community that I live in. But I'm back. I've always been monitoring things while I was gone. I was waiting for uh, the EASHL to jump onto the one. Uh, it finally did. And so, we're back. I wasn't able to cover the transition uh, up until the purge. I, I know what happened. I was following it behind the scenes. But the, in essence, I'm back. Five years. It's been five years since my very first episode. Five years. That's a long time. My only question is, where's Dollar Vision? Anybody seen Dollar Vision lately? You know, the guy that claimed that his show had better ratings than my show? I'm still here. I may have taken a little bit of a break, but I'm still here. Dollar Vision, where did you go? The economy that bad? We calling it like 75 cent vision? Or... I don't know. Eurovision? <laughs> Anyways, I'll try to get inside. It's good to be back. Um, now, pretty much a preseason show for you because obviously, breaking news, the season has been delayed. That's right. Season start has been delayed. Now, that's where we're going to get into some fun stuff because it is full of controversy. 
How? I don't understand. Because I guess there's a lag issue with the input controls. You know, you don't want to do this, you don't want to do that, whatever. Input control lags issues. The league was brought, brought up. Uh, it was brought forth before the league about these lag issues. And some people wanted to delay. Some people said, muscle through it. We'll play it. Whatever. I need a drink. Sorry. I, yeah. No more Red Bull. So we do all that other shit. Some people liked it. Some people hated it. Some people wanted to play. Some people said, nah, delay. Some people said, tough it out, you fucking pussy. Some people said, shut up. It's not worth it. I'm delayed. What made things worse is the controversial, undisputed, indisclosed, unlimited IR. Why are you doing an unlimited IR when you're delaying the season? Now, I can understand when some people said, hey, we're going to play, but we can have an unlimited IR. Why unlimited? That's stupid. It should be the standard IR issues. If you have issues with lag and you can't play, why make it easy for people to abuse this system? Because now you've opened the door for people that got picked up by teams they didn't want to play for. They're just going to go, I'm lagging too much. I can't play. Please trade me. Please trade me. Please trade me. It's stupid. I'm, that's blunder number one. Blunder number two. Miscommunication on both sides. I'm not taking sides. I don't care. Ultimately, when the red names say we're doing this, we're doing this. That's it. End of discussion. Let's face it. You NHL owners do not own the website. You do not own the league. You don't. You're just put in charge of a team that has two other teams below you as your farm teams. That's it. Your, your title is owner. You're not an actual physical freaking owner. You're not. You're not a red name. So they're crying. The owners were crying. People are crying. Communication. Brody's... Working on his calendar shoot. I'm sorry. Putting out fires. We'll get into that in a second. And he comes back to have a raging fire waiting for him online. Hey, hey you're the commissioner. Hey, commissioner. What are we going to do about this lag program? I thought we were going to, like, delay. Some people say we're going to play. Which is it? And he says off the cuff, maybe, I'm guessing, I'm paraphrasing. Well, of course we're going to play. Now, I don't remember saying, I don't remember seeing him say, yep, yeah, we're going forward no matter what. He said the main motive was to get the season in. He wants to play. They want to play. I agree with them. We all want to play. I want to play. Well, I would want to play. Some owners got really pissed off. One of them named Nikki W. Whiny crybaby bitch. Sorry, you are. I'm reading this freaking regurgitated shit that you posted online, and that's what it is. Just giant. You want a Kleenex? I mean, Jesus freaking Christ. <laughs> what would you title it? The truth behind the delay. So epic. I'm sad. No, fuck no. It's stupid. I mean, Talk about jumping to conclusions, folks. I know people are excited to get the season in, but this is ridiculous. Okay, so there's a lag issue. You put it to a vote. vote majority of the vote said play. The, the one poll that I saw to the players, it said play. I don't know what the poll said for the owners. I saw later on that it said delay. Okay, so you got two sides. That one, one wants to play, one wants to delay. Kind of in a pickle if you're a red name. So they say, originally, we're going to play, but we'll look into it. Owners lost their fucking minds. What do you mean we're going to play? What do you mean we're going to play? This lag is unbelievable. People are dropping left and right. Then, you know, the whole IR issue didn't really help much. That's the league's fault, and I understand that. But that, 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 that be that as it may, we can get into the other stuff. Then you have owners, now that we are delayed, you have a couple owners that have just picked up their ball and gone home. They quit. Well, good for you. Be gone with you. You're, if you're going to quit over an issue like this, it's ridiculous. Trust me, I've seen this shit happen before on that other website. It's stupid. Now, I understand that you're passionate about the game and the league. Good. But there are ways that you can do things to help fix the problem, not add to it. Quitting adds to it. Sit down and have a logical, calm conversation with upper management, admins, and the owner. Simple. Tell them what your issues are. Tell them what you want to do. Don't sit there and cry like a little bitch and demand shit. You start demanding shit, I'd be the first one to give you the boot, you fucking baby. Jesus. Come on, can't we all just be somewhat young adults here? Not 
11-year-olds fighting over the last Snickers bar in the trick-or-treat bag? Come on. So he writes this long-ass post that's really stupid and boring and why, 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 and just, you want a tissue. Seriously, I don't understand why everybody has to focus on how we got to this point. Let's face it, we're here. We're now at this point. It's been delayed. How can we fix the delay? EA Sports says the usual suspects. It's not us. It could be a client issue. Blah, 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 blah. I've been following it on their forums, and they have a forum flame war going, too, over there. It's just nuts. Kind of reminds me of another company that I'll get into in a, in a bit here in a second. That's kind of funny. You'll kind of add some humor into this situation, because let's be honest, it's kind of comical. Then there are a couple other people that have posted the real reason, the real reasons from an outside perspective and an unbiased point of view of why it was delayed. And I agree with their opinion and their take on this. Brody not being available for a while because of personal stuff going on with his, you know, sexy fireman photo shoots for the calendar, um, came back and saw this big, massive panic firestorm. He pulled the trigger. He said, we're going to play. That pissed off some people. He then analyzed everything, talked with people, and then made the decision, no, it probably would be best if we delay. Well, that pissed off some more people. I, I don't understand it. Either way, the guy is fucked. Seriously, give him a break. I mean, the guy works hard at his photo shoots. I've seen the photos, and I will be showing them on the show tonight. In other news, Playboy magazine has also said that they're no longer going to have nude women. Now, I haven't heard about Playgirl magazine, but Brody... B. McDonald, the fireman that he is, was supposed to be in next May's issue of Playgirl, the sexy fireman centerfold. Now, it may be that they're no longer doing that. So his contract just got tore up like, um, bye. I don't know, maybe that's why he's been away from online for a little while, because he's been busy trying to do other stuff with his career. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, in other news, uh, people want to know. I've gotten some feedback from fans. They want to have more information about teams, players, and statistics. We have this really cool stat program on LG.com. If you want stats about players and teams and how they're doing, click the link. You can look it up your fucking self. I don't need to waste my time producing a show with graphics to have a stupid stats page that you can find for yourself. Would I love the viewers? Yes. Would I love the ratings? Yes. Do I want to waste my time? No. I can talk about other stuff that are more pressing issues than who's leading the league in goals. <gasps> oh. Now, on the other website, it was nice because not everybody knew how to access the league stat system, and the league stat system that they had in-house was absolutely shit. In fact, here's a blank piece of paper. That's what it looked like. Because they tried using gray font color on a white background that was horrendous. Horrendous. It, seriously, you could take a magic marker in Crayola and make your own little stat line like this. It's a work in progress. Diseased. Look at it's the new stats program made by Technologic Disrepair. It's a work in That's progress. What it like. Yeah. That's gone too. Alright. We'll be right back after this message. Don't go away. I got more stuff to cover. Tonight's episode of the Bunny Box is sponsored in part by Butthurt Cream. Instant relief for your belief. Butthurt Cream. Welcome back. Hey, like I said, we have new sponsors. Guard Swag. at stores.inksoft.com slash guard underscore swag. The official website of the OORG, the Order of the Royal Guards. I'm wearing the jersey. I'm wearing the hat. You got polo, uh, pullovers, uh, zip-ups. You got the tailgater hoodie, which is navy blue. Has a nice little uh, freaking koozie and a can opener. And t-shirts, hats, visors, stocking caps, you name it, they got it. If you need something, you want to look for something, and they don't have it on the website, contact them. They can do custom orders. Check it out. Woo! Coke makes you fucking burp. 
Or as my friend down in Florida would say, nothing burps better than beer. Anyways, uh, another beef I have. For those of you who are fans of NBC Sportsnet, I have a beef with them. Actually, I actually have a beef with myself. Myself. Why didn't I think of this? Have you ever seen the Men in Blazers show? I don't know if you're a big soccer fan for the British Premier League, but I kind of like watching it. Go Man City. Um, yeah, they stole my idea. They stole my show. My show. I'm the one that came up with the idea. They stole my show. Check it out. It's very weird how it's similar to the Penalty Box and the Men in Blazers show. Just, if you think about it, make you think, it, it will make you go, hmm. Next topic. Um, we covered the delay issue. We covered that. I'm going to run you some photos, some leaked photos of Brody's photo shoot that happened this past weekend. The reason why he's been away for a while. And let's just say, Brody, you're a hoser. Roll the footage. What? Welcome back. I told you. I told you. That's why Brody was gone. Uh, sorry, a picture is worth a thousand words. And my friend did look pretty hot to me. Hot as in fire. Well, yeah. That was a bad choice of words. What? Well, I can't be prejudiced against all those people. Oh, prejudice. Thank you. Which reminds me, some other breaking news. Have you ever heard of Black Lives Matter and these other protest groups that are running around the nation right now in the United States? Crazy. How about the protests that are going on in Canada with the First Nations people and stuff? Crazy. I know, there's a lot of whack jobs out there protesting everything under the sun. You name it, they'll protest it. There's a new protest group in LG.com. I've heard rumblings from these people, and they plan a march later this weekend. AHLers matter. AHLers matter. That's the group. People that were on the purge list have now formed their own protest group, and they're quite upset. They have leaked photos of their posters and banners or whatever they're going to be carrying to be used, I think, later this weekend. I think they're targeting St. Paul, Minnesota for some strange reason. Well, probably because, I don't know, a little bit of publicity up here. You know, home of the penalty box. Roll the tape. AHL Matters. Check it out. Well, that's pretty much all I got for the show. Oh, wait. I do want to plug one more thing. Um, there's a new show, a new to me that is, on LG.com that will be airing, I believe, November 5th or 6th. Thursday. No, Thursday, November 6th. Yeah. Yeah. Thir no. I think it's later next week uh, after the season starts. There's a show that's going to be filming. Check out that show. It'll be on LeagueGaming.com in the LGHL section. Don't want to miss it. They plan on coming back for an entire season. They have a panel of guests and other people that break down statistics, matchups, fantasy rosters. It's basically like a fantasy football show. This is more of a, who the ultimate lines or whatever their bid is. You might want to check that show out. I full, full heartedly support the whole, I'm sorry, full wholeheartedly support them in their endeavor and I wish them the best of luck. For everybody here at the Penalty Box, to you folks at home, gearing up for the newest season to hit, the L, to hit LG, it's good to be back. We'll see you at Center Ice when the puck drops. Good night. What? No, I don't think the show went great at all. Fucking who cares, right? What do you mean we're still on? Well, what the f Why didn't you... Go away. Ed was a dipshit, and I'll say a dipshit because he was a dipshit. Are you stupid? What kind of a parent are you, you dumbass? 
The guy scored a goal from the penalty box, for God's sakes. Be gone with him. He's a bitch. He's a dumbass. Get the fuck out of here. Who the fuck cares, right? Come on the show! We'll duke it out! What? No show, yeah? Fuck you! Cut that down, sure guy. He's a fan. He dresses for the <laughs> Fuck you, Techno.